This video is going to show you how you can export a SketchUp scene and import it into Photoshop and isolate one variable. Here I've isolated the shadows and so that's what we're going to be using as the example. But you can isolate anything, lines, profiles, faces. So let's go ahead and go into SketchUp, have a model open. And what we're wanting to do is create two scenes that are the same, the same camera positioning, but isolating one variable. This time we're gonna be isolating shadows. So how we do that is we have one scene with the shadow on and one scene with the shadow off. So to toggle it to have the shadow off for the normal scene and call it house with no shadows or something that will help you understand it. Then let's turn the shadows on and we're gonna go into styles. And here we want to switch the face style to hidden line. Sometimes you have to click the boxes a few times to get it. And then you want to make sure that when you have hidden line selected that you turn off edges. And that's really all you have to do here. So let's just create a new scene and call it something to the effect of shadows. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to export both scenes. You do this by going to File, Export, 2D Graphic, and make sure in your options, well, before you do that, let's name it. Shadows, and make sure the options, yes, the pixels are already set, but height and width, make sure that they are the correct height and width, and you want to match that to Photoshop. Let's export the other photo. Same process, go down File, Export, 2D Graphic, name that, and it's already set to the right pixel size. And then you export it. Perfect, let's go into Photoshop. And once we're in Photoshop, I already have this open. Let's go ahead and just open a new document. Make sure that the custom dimensions that the pixels are the same as your SketchUp doc. And then go ahead and drag those two files we just exported from SketchUp and drop them into Photoshop. Once you do that, press Enter, and that will put the shadows on top. Change the opacity, or change the shadows to multiply in order to adjust the shadows. You see? Easy as pie.